Reptiles are often seen as slow, dim-witted animals. But the more time we spend observing them, the more we realize that this is not the case. You ready? Alex, come here. What I'm going to show you in this video is a simple example of quick learning in lace wanderers. To give you a bit of background, I have a pair of adult lace monitors living in a fairly large enclosure in my lounge room. The enclosure is furnished with a mock rock cliff with two basking areas, several rock shelves at different levels for resting at different temperatures, a fair bit of floor space with hollow logs for sleeping, and a number of climbing logs. Monitors can get plenty of exercise within the enclosure, but as they are intelligent animals and curious about the outside world, allowing them out to explore is good for enrichment. Consequently, they get let out of the enclosure whenever I'm at home to keep an eye on them. Once outside the enclosure, they love to investigate everything. They'll sometimes chase each other around, usually make a fair bit of mess, often check out what's happening in the even bigger world outside, and perhaps catch a few afternoon rays on the sofa. Early on I decided that if we're going to be let out on a regular basis, we should establish a few rules for how they get let out of the enclosure. So I started training them using operant conditioning, which basically means that I give positive reinforcement for behavior I want and ignore behavior that I don't want. In this instance, the positive reinforcement or reward is simply being let out of the enclosure. No cruelty was involved, and you'd be surprised at how quickly they pick things up. I keep a nest box on the right-hand side of the enclosure for the female to use during egg-laying season, and as it's raised off the floor of the enclosure, it seemed a natural spot for the monitors to rest on while waiting to be let out. So the first rule I wanted to teach them was that they had to wait on the right-hand side of the enclosure on the nest box in order to be let out. I also didn't want them scratching at the glass, as that gets pretty annoying really quickly. So they had to sit quietly while they were waiting. Here you can see the male, Alex, crawling on top of the nest box and then sitting quietly, waiting to be let out. So step one is to wait quietly on the right-hand side of the enclosure. Step two was a bit trickier. To get them out of the enclosure, I get them to climb onto my hand so that I can lift them up. What I wanted to train them to do was to put their left arm between my thumb and forefinger, so that I could grab their arm, making it easier to lift them out. Here's an example of step two showing Alex putting his arm right into my hand. Step three is the reinforcement or reward, which is me lifting them out of the enclosure and putting them on the floor. The training for this was almost accidental. I started off by simply putting my hand in a position such that it was only natural they'd climb onto it with the correct arm. In training terms, this is known as capturing a natural behavior. Over time, I slowly modified this behavior by moving my hand further and further away, so they eventually had to intentionally reach for it. The consistency with which they usually perform this action is really impressive. They're so accustomed to performing this maneuver that they can even do it with their attention focused elsewhere. Watch as Alex distractedly offers me his arm while checking out what's going on outside the enclosure. So this is all pretty cool behavior for a lizard, but then one day this happened. A couple of years ago, I noticed that Alex was starting to anticipate the next step while waiting to be lifted out. He knew he'd have to lift his forearm into my hand, so he started waiting for me with his arm already raised. This is an unusual behavior for a monitor lizard, it's not a normal position for them to rest in. I decided to encourage this by letting him out immediately whenever I saw him doing this, and in the process started to train him to lift his arm higher and higher. Then one day I saw him doing a small wave with his arm, anticipating the movement of offering me his arm to be let out. Again, I encouraged this by rewarding this behavior by letting him out of the enclosure immediately, and gradually shaped the behavior so his waves got higher and higher, until eventually he was doing a bit of a high five.
The best thing about this is that he can now get my attention more quickly than he would by just waiting on the side of the enclosure, as the movement catches my eye from across the room. What I'm working on now is seeing if I can train him to do this on cue with simple hand movements. Sometimes while shooting this video, I'd be so busy recording really cool behavior that I wasn't letting Alex out quickly enough, so he'd give up and start climbing up to bask. I'd feel really badly about this and try to get him onto my hand when he was halfway up the log. And what is particularly interesting about this is that the change of context doesn't seem to affect his understanding of the required behavior. So he'll still climb onto the familiar glove even when he's not on top of the nest box. That was just a small demonstration of the learning ability of reptiles. The next time you see a reptile, keep in mind that there may be more going on inside its head than you realize. Alex? <laughs>